So now, 40 minutes in the company of Wogan. Rarity in the world of fashion and glamour, the poacher turned gamekeeper, the model turned photographer. From both sides of the lens, Suze Randall. <laughs> Why did you make that transition from being a model, which must have been very lucrative, to becoming a photographer? Well, I think I was getting to the situation where I was seeing all these chaps doing it, and I thought, I think I can do a better job. I got a bit big-headed and um, bought a camera and started snapping my friends and selling them, and it wasn't took that, off from that. It wasn't that you felt you were getting too, a bit too old for the game of modelling? Well, of course, yes. I mean, at, at the risk of being ungallant. Well, I mean, what, is the, what age can somebody stop doing, or does somebody have to stop doing glamour photography? Well, lot, lots of women carry on into their 40s and, and mm. further on, but I, I felt I was pretty lucky to be modelling at all. So about 25, do, I was looking. How do girls react to a female photographer? Surely they, they would tend to be antipathetic to you at first. Well, I'm a lot of fun. They love me. I make them laugh. I make them feel relaxed. You know, I'm not going to grab them. Yeah. That's what they think. <laughs> as, you, as, you, as, as a glamour model yourself. Would you recommend it as a career? Yeah, it's great. In fact, that's how I got into modeling. Was uh, I answered an ad and did nude modeling, and then I met a photographer who told me, Kevin said, keep your clothes on, Suze, you look a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, a, bit, it's a bit hard, isn't it? <laughs> it's quite hard doing uh, nudie work. Well, not everybody will want to do nudie work, of course, but is that the only way you can get into photographic modeling? No, of course not, but it's very good training. I mean, you really learn learn a lot and you've got your clothes off you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you learn imagine. really fast yeah but isn't there don't you think there's still a, a stigma attached to it or do you think that's all gone out the window now that it doesn't matter oh i don't think so i mean i worked you know one minute for a men's magazine and the next month i was in vogue yeah. i think if as long as whatever you do you do well then that you know that's the main thing and yeah. it's it's a lot of fun people treat you with a lot of respect when you've got your clothes off mm. Is there rich rewards for young girls? I mean, is there more money in taking their clothes off than there is in leaving them on? It varies. It depends how good you are, you know. You can work for, for very little, and you can, if you're in demand, you can work for a lot. And you can work with your clothes on and your clothes off. I mean, you know, mm. the endless opportunities. So you're allowed to make that transition, you feel, these days. Surely the, the magazines like, like Vogue and, and Harper's or any of these would say, no, you've done new Oh, modeling. I don't think so, and I don't think so in Europe either. I think in America they're much more straight laced but I think in Europe they appreciate a beautiful woman with her clothes on or off. Of course, it was Hugh money. Hefner and Playboy who, who started all this. Well, mm -hmm. he didn't start it, but he, he glamorized it. He seemed yes. to make it more acceptable. Mm -hmm. you, you once worked for, for Hefner. Yes, in fact, he flew me over to America. As a photographer? Yes, as a photographer. Mom. Yeah. And um, he was very, very good for me. I shot myself, in fact. The Did playboy, you? yeah. Mm. My last stand. <laughs> Thank God, people still think I look <laughs> the same way now. But then you kind of uh, dirtied up your copybook in a, in a sense by writing your memoirs, and uh, it didn't paint too good a picture of Playboy. Oh, or it was quite sweet, really. Was it? But yes. They didn't think I, they I went, took out the fact that he had a fat too, bottom. And, yeah? Uh, yes. How I, did you know he had a fat bottom? Because I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> did, it did, you, did every model in work for Playboy, I have to see you have No, I was, I was curious. <laughs> yeah. But what did you think of that whole Playboy setup? I mean, you, you obviously were a bit disenchanted with it, weren't you? No, I, I, well, I, I had a good time. Um, I always have a good time. But this whole uh, thing he had in Chicago, the, the body empire. No, it is, a, it is a bit silly. You've got a lot of girls who feel very out of place, and it, it's a little bit stiff, and it's a little bit straight. But I used to jolly them along and, you know, loosen them up and... Get them relaxed. What about this latest problem of Dorothy Stratton? Do you remember that the, yes. it's, it's not all happiness. It's no. not all glamour, is it? It's not no. all rewards. There's heartbreak, too. Did, There's a lot of heartbreak. Did you notice a, a no. lot of it? Or? No, it's... I mean, obviously, it's that in any situation, you know, there are going to be tragedies, and that was a big tragedy. And I, I think it was, it was a dangerous game, too, in Playboy, and the fact that you've got the situation when a lot of boyfriends aren't allowed in 
into the mansion and it was kind of a time bomb waiting to go off yeah. but it was uh it was very very sad it broke everybody's heart and yeah, the, bitterness, the bitterness is still there isn't it uh, mm. uh, that's miserable yeah Come, let's change the subject. Why, you think it's all... You, well, yes, I'm just... There must be another side to it. It's not all glamour and... I mean, what about explo exploitation? Does that come into it? Well, I don't think so at all. I think it's wonderful when you're young and you're beautiful and you're blooming to be appreciated and to be made into a queen and to be loved and honoured. Take your clothes off. Yes. <laughs> Gosh, I, could, I mean, I can't give it away now. <laughs> Tell me, there's a, there's a series on at the moment called Cover Up, mm -hmm. which uh, goes out on a Friday. And uh, that's about a fashion photographer yes. who's also working on the cover. Did you watch that? I saw some clips of it. Wow. Well, yes, let's I... have a look at a clip now. And I just want you to tell me what you think, whether it gives a correct picture. Of what oh, give me that million dollar look. Good. Well, now I think about the good All right. Let me take a break. Down being kind of obvious, huh? You and just about every other guy that ever looked at her. That could be cool. You know, this would not be a bad time for you to go and check her luggage, see if she's carrying a large sum of money. Yeah, but Danny, I don't feel right about this. I think you and Henry are wrong about Christy. She's too nice a person to be using us. There you are, too nice a person to be... Who gets used? Does the model or the... Or the photographer get used? Well, I believe in cooperation, and I think, you know, that makes a really happy relationship. And if you're both getting something out of it, that's great. You know, what you, you can use as a model. You yeah. can really take advantage. You can do it as a photographer, but you're going to get it in the I end. I imagine most of the, the public, or many of the public, would think that a girl who has, takes her clothes off for photographs must be pretty tough, must be pretty hard. Is that your experience? No, not at all. They're mm. young and excited and uh, full of... Full of joys of spring. You it's don't, wonderful. Don't you love the Don't you think there's anything don't sorted in it at all? You think the female body's sorted? No, 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 but I think there's a lot oh. of a lot more explicit suggestiveness goes into the photographs than simple photographs of a nude body. It's not all that classical. Oh, I think it's very I think the female female form is very classical. Oh, so do I, made. but then what I'm saying to you is that the photographs aren't necessarily <laughs> that <laughs> I don't know what you read, <laughs> well, I mean, you can see it in any magazine you pick up anywhere. I, in any newsstand. I pride myself on making beautiful pictures of beautiful women mm. and getting the best out of them. But not everybody does that. Not everybody applies the same, the same rules. I think so, to be successful and to be the best. You have to do your best. What did you think of the session in cover-up? Do you think that was reflective of a, of a photographic session? Well, I thought the female photographer was very pretty. I think, well, I, the Hasselblad is a difficult camera to handle anyway. When you look down the viewfinder, mm. it's back to front, upside down, inside out. She's not got any body movement, you know, when I photograph. But the photographer? Yeah. I mean, she's very stiff. She's going, oh. Um, what do you mean the photographer's got to move as well? We... Well, I do. That's why I'm so successful. And the noises I make are even better. Yes, but Litchfield is successful. I've never seen him moving a great deal. Doesn't he stick his bum on? Not a lot. No, I think he just sits there and says, all right, darling, that's perfectly fine for you. <laughs> <laughs> but you believe in all that sort of movement and stuff and cheering up the models and getting them move Everybody going. has their own style, yes. Mm. Um, to relax them, to amuse them, to get them going, to get a rap going. Mm get the enthusiasm and the excitement and get to a fever pitch, yes. Have you any ambitions to go into something more, to, to filmmaking, for instance? I think filmmaking the moving, is, the yeah. The moving picture is distinct from the still. Yes, filmmaking is very exciting. I'm prepared to climb any mountain. Yeah. Are you going to be based here now? Are you still going to stay working mostly in America? I don't know. It depends what opportunities come. It would be mm. great to work in both places. I mean, I didn't realise how much I'd missed home. Now, which of the two do you prefer? I mean, which, which would you prefer to do, high fashion, photography or the nude photography? Well, I kind of, met, you know, draw the line and usually refuse to photograph people with their clothes on, but... <laughs> <laughs> it defends your moral sense. Yeah, I mean, you know, we all have our standards. <laughs> Susan Randall, thank you. It's nice to meet you. <laughs>